Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Warriors TV for Sinch League 2 action. It's the to make a long trip north to take on Elgin City. The Warriors going to today's game sitting in 7th place whilst Elgin City sat in 9th. The last time the two sides met was at Oakleview Park where Elgin City ran out 2-1 winners before the Warriors went in a 6th game unbeaten run. Michael Miller comes back in after missing a few games he's injury against Kelty Hearts. Whilst Adam Corbett keeps his place at right back and Jordan Tappan comes in place of Nicky Jameson at the back. And it'll be the Warriors to get us underway, Dan and Christie playing in more of a central role. And away we go, ball played back to Crichton and there's a cross to Corbett who launches the ball forward. Thrown to the Warriors, Ross Lyon. Ball thrown back to Matt Weatherburn. Puts it inside to Miller. Takes a shot, stays deflection and it's 1 0 Sterry. Michael Miller on his return to the team. Hits a shot from long range, takes a deflection over Tom McHale. And the Warriors find themselves 1-0 up after just 17 minutes here in Barbariggs. Good finish from Miller. Goal kick to the free kick to the Warriors. Ball played up from Wilson. So the defence now and it falls to Christie. Driving down the right hand side. Puts the ball to the box. Falls to R. Puts a touch. Turns his head. It's 2 0 Sterrys Muir. The Warriors, two goals in quick succession there. Leaving their mark at Borough Briggs. Good work from Christie down the right wing. Puts the ball in the box. Tam R. Unable to get in control at first. But gets in control. Turns. Hits it on his left. Maybe not the most powerful shot. But it's enough to beat McHale. And it's Elgin City now. Stenhouse Muir 2. After just 21 minutes. Ball switched to the left hand side of the Elgin City attack. Open forward and it's knocked on. Elgin try to put some passes together with Warriors. Take the ball back now. Ball falls to Tamar. Drives. Held onto it. It's a shot and it's a team effort. From num the number 9. Free kick. Beat Russell Dingwall to take the ex Warriors man. Takes it quick. It's a shot there. From Tom Gravosti and it's over the bar. Not really troubling the Warriors keeper. They almost said he'll try to get a goal back in it before half time. Dingwall. Ball played through now. Keeps going. Hester cuts back inside and he's going down. And the referee points to the spot. It's a penalty to Elgin. Kane Hester seems to be fouled there by Sean Crichton or Ross Lyon. And it'll be Hester to step up against David Wilson. They bring them back in the game. It's a shot and it. it's in the back of the net. Game Hester. Making it 2-1. After just 37 minutes. Elgin City back in it just before the break. And the Warriors. are looking at cement. They're leading the in the break. Is Elgin City looking to get a second goal. Bring on level before half time. They keep going. A shot from range, Wilson saves, but does it the best is Crichton takes the control of the ball and gets it away. As we are into the second half now. Ball thrown. City trying to start attack, but they've lost the ball now. Ball played through for Christie. It's one and one with McHale. Can you make it 3 1? Christie has a shot! And it's wide of the target. That's a big miss of the Warriors. It could come back to haunt them later in the game. Good work from the Warriors to win the ball back. But Christie's finish not the best. And the number 14 throw him taken. Line inside. Ball put back, back across. Oh, right, header. Not the best throw. The number 16. But it's saved there with McHale. Spark. Back into Hewn. Ball with the top. Hester chases up against Crichton, comes back inside, beats Crichton, has a shot! It's a poor effort from the number 9, finding the outside of the goal, not real trouble with Wilson. Goal kick to the Warriors, Wilson takes. Forbes knocks it on into the path of line now, plays it through. O'Reilly to chase, up against Gravosti, he's went down! The referee's giving him a free kick and it's a straight red for the number 2. Deemed to have fouled Juno O'Reilly. It was through on goal. He could have made it 3 1. And Gravosi has shown his marching orders. And Elkin City, a goal down. 
and also a man down. Free kick to the Warriors. Forbes to take. It's like the box. Come up with a head iron, it's way to the goal. They're going to say lay off there. And it'll be a corner. Ball in. It's cleared. It's Warriors now looking to break. Line. But James Line plays ahead. To Ryan Tierney, who's come off the bench for Christie. Puts it on to McAnderson, puts the ball through now. First touch from Anderson. It's James Lyon, chases down. He does well to beat the sliding tackle. Spot the box, that's a poor, poor pass. And the party crystal Loney is helping a clear. Only as far as Ross Lyon. Lyon goes up well, puts it into the feet of Ross Forbes and drives forward. He keeps going, looking for a bit of space. Lose it off to James Lyon, takes a touch on his left foot, it's a shot on his save there by McHale. The look to start, an attack for Elgin. There's a free kick, McHale up as well, it's Elgin City keeper. Ball into the box, McCarty with the header, looking header and it's 2 all In the 90th minute, a free kick taken in and it's McCarty who rises highest to it and heads a looping header over. Davy Wilson and Elgin City get back into the game later on as the Warriors can seat a late, late equaliser for the second week in a row. Corner to Elgin looking for the winner. It's not the best, it finds the first man to put the ball back into the box. This ball is chased down by McCarty and James Lyon. Ball played in for a cross, it's headed away by the Warriors. As Hester brings it down, there's a shot, it's blocked. So Warriors eventually get out for a goal kick as David Wilson looks to take quickly, trying to find the Warriors a late winner. Is there any time left? Wilson takes quickly and that's game over anyway here at Borough Briggs. Elgin City 2, Stereo Senior 2. The Warriors go 2-0 in front. Thanks to goals from Mikey Miller and Tara Moore. But Elgin City find themselves back into the game. Ball that penalty from Kane Hester and that late, late header from Daryl McCarty as Warriors dropping two points the second week in a row following last week's 2 0 draw in Edinburgh City and a draw here at Borough Briggs. Of course, next up for the Warriors is a Boxing Day trip to Forfa and that'll be a Sunday just for those who are making their way up. And that'll be a 3 pm kickoff, and of course, we'll have the highlights and post match interviews as normal from that game. The next time we will be back live at on Warriors TV will be the 2nd of January, Sunday, as we are from Southern Albion to Oakleview Park. But before then, ladies and gentlemen, we wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. And if we don't see you before the New Year, we wish you a Happy New Year. Thank you for watching. Well, Stephen, a 2 0 draw here at Barrow Briggs. How do you feel the game went? Um. First half, thought we started really well. I thought um, Thomas Orr and, and Darren Christie were causing problems. We had Darren in uh, the hole today, and his runs were really causing problems. Front players with, with Forbes and Ewan, uh, with the midfield backing them up, thought thought we were really creating a lot of chances. Uh, deservedly go 2-0 up. Um, and, and you know, for, for there you're, you're then expecting us to go and go and try and win the game. But um, right before half time, the referee gives a, a dubious penalty. We have to deal with that again, two one. And you know, I said to the boys at half time, you know, settle down. We, we we were a bit frantic when Thomas Orr gets injured. We have to make a change 15 minutes or 20 minutes before the half and brought James Lyon on. So that 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 change. Um, that disrupted us a bit and, and made us frantic, but credit to the boys, I said, look, you, it's a half time, you've got to come out and um, deal with the game, um, it's, it's the same game plan, they came out and dominated the full second half, we missed three absolute glorious chances, um, we've, got, we've got to take them, they, they go down to ten men, and, and to be honest, we need to see the game out, um, right at the end, the goalkeeper comes up, and you know, that usually causes a bit of... Uncertainty in the defence and and the and the, the, the scored at the end. So I don't want to sound like a broken record because you know the same happened last week where it's a two-two draw. And we should be holding on because two weeks in a row we've been miles miles the better team, but we can't we can't just 
lucky these goals away, especially these late goals. It's just so weak. It really is. That's that's the best way to describe it. It's a weakness we've got. Yeah, it must be disappointing to see those late, late goals in back-to-back games. Because that's why held on both games. I think we come from sitting in the playoffs at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's absolute buts. We, we should be in the playoffs. I mean, all, all season. I think that, that goal there is the story of our season. We've, we've just had uh, a few body blows, to be honest with you. And... And you can you can obviously sense my frustration. Um, we should be we should be coming away the um, the last two games with six points, and we've only got two. Um, but it is what it is because I've I've got to try and look at the positives because I thought we were absolutely brilliant second half. I thought bo- some of the boys ran themselves right into the ground, um, which we're expecting them to do. But we've just got to we've got to deal with the, the game management side of it. We've got to stand up and be big, be, be brave, but also. You know, when they get down to ten men, they, they shouldn't be anywhere near it, and they're, they're still being given a lifeline. They're, they're fighting right to the end, and the game should be killed off. So, I'm, I'm trying not to feel sorry for the players because, you know, for, for a couple of weeks in a row, it's it's disappointing. But you, I think it's playing for everybody to see. I think I think some of the football we're playing is absolutely brilliant, and and if we can, if we can, and it's a big if. If we can stop the, the, the goals, then, then we'll, we'll be the real deal. But up until that point, we're going we're gonna to struggle to see games out. Yeah, of course, next week is our final game of the calendar year. We travel to Fourth from Boxing Day next Sunday. Our first last time we played against them, was a late goal. We scored it uh, to goal level. And the same, same game plan for the last couple of weeks against Fourth, or is it? Well, I think the for have, have changed a wee bit um, since they played Kelty four weeks ago and uh, we had them watch last night and there was a convincing win over Edinburgh. Uh, they were good for set plays, they're strong, um, physical and you know they've got, they've got real legs and attack so we know, we know what to expect so it's just hopefully we can go and implement what we've done um, for a majority of the game here. And, and cut out the silly mistakes. That, that's that's. I mean, football's a simple game at times, and that's that's basically what my message is to the, the boys. I can't fault their effort. I can't fault how the, how much they dominated that game. We just need to. What I've said the whole season, you know, get sharp on both boxes, kill the game, and, and stop the, these goals. And if if we do that, um, we we'll, we can go on a good run again. But we we definitely need to stop it. Well, again, that, that that was another issue today where, you know, Taps has, has come off. Uh, Thomas Orr, looks as if he's got a really sore one. Um, he, he's, his buttocks actually really swollen. It looks as if it could be out for a while, which is leaving us with, with limited options up the top of the field. Michael Muller's come off with an injury. Um, so we, we were forced into changes, and that definitely disrupted the flow. Um, but, you know, for, we're probably the same as everybody else. We've just, just got, to, got to deal with it. We've still got a good squad, but... Uh, really disappointing, um, not to take six points at the last uh, couple of games, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we can look at the positives. Thank you, Alright. Well, Mikey, first of all, congratulations on your first goal for the Warriors and also your turn to the team. How do you feel after that? Uh, a bit of sweet, to be honest. I was gutted to, uh, we lost that goal at the end. I felt we were in control most of the game. Uh, had chances to win it, but obviously we've came away from home, scored two goals. Just disappointed we've not came away with it. Win. Of course, your goal was there when the open. I think I took my question and walked the keeper. <coughs> a few fans in the away section, I'm not sure if it went in or not, it's the, the angle it took, but what went through your head at the time when you got the ball at your feet? Uh, no, I was just I knew Nat was receiving it on the left side of the pitch and he's comfortable in the ball. I knew we'd have it in him to open up, so I gave him a light shout. He managed to pick me out. They were uh, about 10 yards off the press, so I just thought I'd have a shot. Uh, Luckily, it took a wee, a wee nick, but a wee bit of fortune. Of course, the last couple of games we've seen you play, you've been only used as a right back, but you've been moved back in the middle of the park today. Yeah. Uh, where's your preferred position, your right back or in the middle? Um, growing up, I used to be a right back, and then once I was about 18, started uh, getting moved about uh, the back four in midfield. But since I was uh, playing professional games, I would say midfield, I uh, prefer either the sitting midfield or the one in between, probably. Of course, we'll look ahead to next week when you felt the fourth part of the final game of the calendar year. Yeah. Do you think we're going to be up to trying to rectify the last few weeks of preceding the goals? Um, yeah, definitely. I think it's something. Def- don't want to do that every week, don't want to make it a habit. Uh, but I think just maybe if we have better concentration at the end. It's easy saying that now in hindsight. But the only thing we can do is try and learn for that and not let it happen again. We don't want to make that a habit. Yeah, cheers, thank you. Thank you.